Hey there everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Bubsy 2. Okay, so before we begin this episode, um, yeah, I, I looked up on the wiki about this game, about the setting, the Amazatorium, and yeah, I I I'm just gonna read and explain this to you from the wiki, because I don't think this is ever actually explained in the game, but yes, directly from the Bubsy Bobcat wiki. Mazatorium. According to the manual of Bubsy 2, after Oinker P. Ham, that, that's three M's by the way, built his theme park, Virgil Reality, created an invention called Wampum. It's the world origination and matter projection unification machine that, sim that simulates history. I need to move my mic so this is easier to read. Okay. When Bubsy and his two cousins and Arnold went to the park, it was closed and it said that it will be open tomorrow. At that time, all air travel, music, Egypt, medieval past, and space fiction, aka space pirates, were stolen by Wampum instead of simulating the history. But in Bubsy 2, Bubsy saves the world and defeated Oinker P. Ham, of course. And I also learned from the wiki that there are only five worlds in this game. It, it, every part of, of, of this thing, it, it just repeats the same world, but in a different level, I guess. So with that out of the way... Let's get on with it. Because, <laughs> yeah, I don't think that's ever actually explained in the game. It's like, you don't know anything about this game's story unless you read the manual. And uh, another thing, though, you know they, uh, you know the Space Pirate, uh, logo? You know, the, uh, you know, the pirate level logo? Well, it turns out I, I was actually not far off the mark with that. It turns out that originally, it was actually going to be themed around naval pirates, like it was going to be a traditional pirate level, but then they decided to change it into a space level, and they were literally, presumably so lazy that they didn't even bother finishing the uh, icon for the level. They, they just left it as it was. Yeah, that, that's pretty much the story behind why a space level has a traditional, like, naval pirate theme to it. In the hub. And that was failure. Okay, let's, let's stay low this time. Yeah, it was in the trivia on the wiki. Actually, I'll go ahead and bring that up real quick says, the space theme was originally going to be a pirate theme stage, however, the icon in the hub, the, the icon in the hub wood was never changed, so it still shows a pirate theme. I think they typoed there, but yeah, they, they literally did not change it to, to be something more appropriate for the level. That just, I don't know why, you know, may, maybe it was time or budget constraints maybe who knows okay good checkpoint yeah i was hoping for like, for like a bigger variety of worlds like i like i was thinking or at least hoping that it would be like 30 unique levels but no it's like Basically, the, the way it works apparently is it, it's like you go through the same set of worlds in every part of the Amazatorium, but it's like each time you complete a part, the next part increases in difficulty. So it's like each wing, it goes like easy, medium, hard. So basically, we're currently in the medium difficulty stages of the East Wing. How 
did I not see that enemy? Okay, we can... Yeah, we, we can't go down there. That's for certain. I was actually doing that on purpose. I was trying to see the exact hitbox, and... No, I, I think it's pretty accurate. I guess it's just because Bubsy, he's just such a big sprite. Okay, I think we're making fast progress now. Hopefully. That's a fail! Thanks for not jumping! Remember to try to glide as much as possible. I think it's generally the safer bet. Controls are actually worse in this game, because, like, in the first game, I, I didn't really have that much trouble, like, platforming. I mean, you guys remember? It's like, I didn't have that much trouble doing, like, precise platforming on even, like, small platforms, but it feels so much harder to control in this game. I don't know if it's because of the random slowdown, or if it's just because Bubsy's movements are way faster. Or maybe both? I, I don't know, it just... It feels off. Oh. Yeah, okay. <laughs> that that definitely works. I'll take that. Well, apparently Bubsy dies from running into walls now. And unless an enemy hit him or something. How did I get up there? Really? Okay, why did I die there? Kangaroos. Come on, slide down. Jump over that. What? Well, why is there a hole there? Like, I... For a second there, I thought a worm or something was just gonna jump out and attack me. Seriously, what's killing me now? Or is it them rods? Am I dying from touching those rods or something? Oh, 
Yeah, I really need to utilize this more. I also need to not get flattened. I... Why does gliding into enemies kill me now? Or am I landing on the platform and then getting killed by the enemy in like a split second? Was that a sombrero? What was that thing? Of course that happened. Yeah, let, let, let's just stay down here. Glide, the, the glide sucks in this game. That, that's all I can really say. I, I don't understand how this game manages to be simultaneously better and worse than the first game at, at the same time. Like, the level design feels more quote-unquote fair. At least you can kind of see what's going on around you, but it's like... I don't know. Like, it, it controls so much worse. I didn't fully realize it until this level, but... Yeah, yeah, if you if you get on top of those, you just die. Like what what is that? Like a tub full of mud or quicksand or something? Like Seriously, what what is that thing? Why does it kill me? Or or, or is it full of water? Is it like a big water basin? Oh. Well, we must be at the end. One can hope. Oh, thank goodness. One level completed. Okay, I, I guess it, it it tallies your levels for, uh... I don't know. For, for the, um, for the specific floor of the wing that you're on. I was thinking it would, like, count all the levels, but okay. You don't have a pilot's license. Well, you know, that explains some things, Bubsy.
Wait, I went back? Wait, how do I turn around? Or, or can I not turn around? Are you supposed to go all the way back? Like, is this supposed to be happening? I don't understand. <laughs> I'm guessing I took the wrong door, or something. Is that the one that threw me all the way back to the entrance? Yeah, let's stay as low as we can. Oh, wait! Okay. So then there's only one. Like, only one doorway out of there. Okay, the balloons don't cause contact damage. That's good to know, I suppose. So I guess at this point we just have to go all the way to the left and we'll like find the exit or something, I guess. And yet it's still playing like it expects you to go to the right. I, I don't know, maybe, maybe I should just... Yeah, yeah, just, just avoid that particular one completely. <laughs> Oh, I, I thought I was going to hit a wall and die. Okay. Oh yeah, C turns around. Okay. Alright, well... Where do you want me to go then, game? Well, it's a checkpoint. <laughs> it's another checkpoint. Is this the right way? I don't know. Maybe? I mean, judging from the way the enemies are facing, I would assume... Yes! Okay, good. That was indeed the way they wanted us to go. Is the writer's strike over yet? 
All right, time for the next musical level. Wait. Oh no, that's telling us to go up. Okay. There we go. Forget going into that area. Alright, good. Checkpoint. Always nice to see. You know, I just had a really nice thought. What if it doesn't really matter which wing you go into, and there's really only like 15 levels in this game, and the other set of levels are like the exact same thing, but with just maybe like very, very, very minor variations? If that's the case, I might be able to consider this complete after 15 levels. That's wishful thinking, but I guess we'll see how it turns out. Of course, if you have to finish all 30 to actually get to the final boss, then yeah, that's something I'll have to do. But, you know, I may as well do it anyway, just, just to give this game a proper send-off. Oh, it's a sandwich! What does that thing do? I wonder if it's like... Invincibility or something.
Oh. Oh, it's the armadillo guy. So not all the mini games are the frog things then. Hope he got away from that. I, I didn't realize we were on a truck until the very end there. Okay, we are not going the right way. I want that band-aid! Okay, good. Wait, did I did I come from that? I think I did. Maybe I need to go up here. Game, excuse me, why did I die there? Come on now. Oh, hello. All right. I, I guess progress, maybe? <laughs> Potentially. If there's a checkpoint, it's probably a pretty safe bet that you're making progress. Oh wait, that's where I died before. Okay, I guess I am supposed to go over here then, somewhere.
Wait, we're back up here again. Maybe I am supposed to go in here. Or wait. Is that taking me between different... No, it's not. to go straight left. Let's, let's just go over here then. Yeah, see nothing there. <sighs> no, I guess we're going the wrong way entirely. I don't know. I, I guess just stay on the bottom floor and try to go as far left as I can. I don't know. I don't know what else I can do. Wait! So what did that do? <laughs> I'm gonna guess that changes something. It, it, it probably opens something up somewhere so we can get further into this level. Wasn't there like two instruments like close together over here somewhere it looked like it would open up if you hit a switch thought I saw something like that somewhere in this level yeah right there but that that's clearly the bottom of the level anyway though okay uh in that case, wait, hold on. I thought that was the level exit there for a second. It does visibly change that. I... I don't know. Maybe I should just... Try to go all the way over here. Guess that was pointless. But what is the point of changing that? There's got to be something, right? the exit okay I, I don't know how I missed that before but okay I, m maybe I didn't go that way and I, I I was there before but I thought I was somewhere else so I didn't go that way I I don't know don't really care it's done <laughs> Nothing can stop me now. 
Are you sure about that, Bubsy?